Hey, welcome back to the Lifestyle 101. It's your boy Paco Rocks, lifestyle enthusiast, bringing you what's hot and what's not, the shakers and the movers and the money makers. Hey, man, today I'm so excited. I'm with my homeboy, my brother in crime, Mr. Derek Ford. We're going to talk about PMIS, Powerful Men in Style, one of the hottest men's fashion group on Facebook, about 10,000 strong. And also we're going to talk to him about what's going on in the community with PMIS and some of the hot things we're going to be moving forward with. So stay tuned, man. We'll be right back with you with my boy Derek. Tell me, man, what is PMIS? Powerful Men in Style is the fastest growing men's fashion group on Facebook. We're just about to break 10,000 members. Uh, I'd probably say maybe a year and a half ago, we were only at four to 800. Um, so uh, within the last year and a half, we've uh, expanded the group um, to, uh, as again, 10,000 members. Uh, we cover things like uh, men's fashion, grooming, uh, community service, as well as a business platform uh, designed for independent business owners uh, who provide services or grooming products, as well as uh, suits and um, things of that nature to uh, sell their stuff within the group. Oh, cool, cool. And I know you and me, we're both admins, as sure. you know, and, but you're one of the uh, co-founders, I'd say, kind of right. brought me into the fold, yeah. you know. Um, where do you see PMIS going? Um, I see PMIS going to more than just a Facebook group. I see it becoming an online magazine. Uh, from an online magazine, I see it expanding into a, a sort of platform for mostly African Americans to sell their products. I see it expanding into a television studio, into a movie studio, and then even bigger than that. There's the sky's the limit. Uh, a sort of a community uh, for for men of all, all colors. Uh, to come together and you know make money and express themselves through fashion. Cool, cool. And what I like mostly about about it, 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 it it's brothers from everywhere. You right, got right. DC, you got Chicago, you got uh, New York, you got North Carolina, the South to the East to the West, and it's just a just a good melting pot right. of, of of fashion, good 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 conversation, good right. dialogue. Right. We got a lot of members from India. India is very true, big in the group, true. Uh, and a lot of uh, members from South America as well. True. The, one question that I kind of ask myself: What makes PMIS stand out? Because you have a lot of face group, group, group groups out there. You know, you know, we're in a right, lot of them. Right, you know right, how they right, go, right, right. and you see everybody in the same one here and there. And this one, and I've been in a lot of fashion groups, and I know you have. Right, right, right. But this one stands out, stood out to me the most. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna tell you what I like about it. But you tell me, sure. What, 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 what you think makes PMIS stand out? Or I different? think, I think it's, uh, it's a sort of camaraderie of brotherhood. I think it's we also allow um, our members to sell and promote their products, uh, which is very important. A lot of other men's fashion uh, fashion groups will not even allow their members to sell their products. So it's a lot of ongoing uh, free advertisement through the group. Uh, we do a lot of community. I think uh, you remember we did the uh, suit for Brother Michael Maurice yep. Barr. Mm -hmm. um, what happened with that was uh, Brother Michael Maurice Barr was in another Facebook group and he's a very uh, large sized brother. He had asked the group members uh, for some advice on where to purchase an off the rack uh, suit and he was uh, sort of made fun of by the group members. So what I did was I invited him to PMIS and then I made a GoFundMe account uh, to help get him a suit and in about three weeks we raised over $900 and we were able to use uh, Christian Smith uh, P-squared clothing here in Atlanta to get him a custom made suit delivered to South Carolina where he's at and uh, he loves it you know and what that did was it showed how we as men can come together and give another one of our group members something positive so that's the camaraderie element inside and I also think um, it's the fact that we each day of the week we offer a different uh, sort of dialogue I think Mondays we have uh, with you Lifestyle Mondays um, Tuesdays we have Financial Tuesdays with Geno Smith 
uh, Wednesdays, William Dingle, what we not going to do Wednesdays. It's and hilarious. Then, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. And I sub under him with the Love Doctor. Uh, Thursdays, we have Ken's events. Mm -hmm. uh, then Fridays, we have Gerzon Latin Inc. Rodriguez with Art Fridays. And then on the weekends, we sort of promote uh, group members' businesses and services. Yes, yes, yes. And one thing that you did leave out that I like is it's all male group. No women are allowed. That's true. That's right. We don't allow And that's huge. You know. That's huge. And, and you, we got women knocking down the doors trying to get in. And, and ladies, don't feel we're not trying to keep you out at all. Love we you. love you. Love you and we invite you to our, we want you to come to the events. But, you know, it, it kind of gives us a, a time to kind of discuss different topics of what's going on out here for men. You know what I'm saying? How to love you guys better. Let's say that. How's that? That's all we want to do. That, that's all we want to do. That's all I want to do. Yes, um, we want to love the women better, right? But we want to love ourselves as men better. And that gives us an opportunity to be in front of each other, express ourselves without, uh, you know, having to necessarily be influenced by uh, the opposite sex, which happens a lot in other groups. But I mean, uh, I'm very proud of the group. Uh, as I said, we're reaching 10,000 members. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll be around 15,000. And uh, maybe we're looking at doing a possible fashion show. That's why I want, want, want to speak on that. We're talking about we're looking at doing a fashion show, um, uh, collaborating with other cities, and, and expanding expanding the group. And, and speaking on that, we we uh, we we try to do a summer well spring is almost over, but summer fashion show this this um, yeah. coming up, which is going to be really strong with 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 the men in the group actually modeling. Exactly. We're going to do some auctioning off some uh, products from some of the uh, people in the group and then sell their products and, and, and supply those as well. Real quick, man, you, you touched on the community aspect. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the fashion helping the youth? And, you know, you know I'm very passionate about yeah. black youth right Good now. You know, and, and where can we take this to really help our youth and, and maybe just try to bring them to pull their pants up, you know right. what I'm saying, and stop the bullying and, 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 and just have a little more sense of pride. Right, right. I, I think um, when it, we have a lot of opinions when it comes to youth. I, I'm a very laid back type person. I understand that fashion changes, uh, you know, year round and youth have a different outlook than older people do, much with the hip hop and the music that's going on today. You have the younger version where the uh, rappers seem to be mumble rappers and not necessarily um, saying conscious things where you have the older school who uh, were more into more conscious rap and more lyrics kind of putting down the younger um, generation of mu uh, music and where I stand to see that um, you know I, I totally understand where they're coming from but you've got to understand things change and time change changes as well so you won't be relevant if you keep looking at from this point of view uh, that that uh, the youth is bad, right? Same thing with the fashion. We have a lot of younger people wearing things such as skinny jeans. Uh, you know, clothes are a little more tight fitting. Uh, you know, uh, shoes don't look like what they did when we grew up, right? And to now, uh, the older population is starting to look down. Uh, of course, we wore more suits, more blazers, dressed well, and sort of you know putting down the younger uh, generation. Uh, upset about the price of Jordans, where in my opinion, I remember being in high school and people were buying Jordans, wearing Bo Jacksons then. So it's, it's, I think as people get older, they tend to forget what they did when they were younger and what was fashion to them, right? So when we were younger, it was about wearing bigger and baggy clothes. I was a very skinny kid. I grew up in the suburbs where I always thought it was weird looking. So I've always worn tighter fitting clothes. Uh, because that's how my parents bought my clothes. So to me, um, now that I'm older, I got a lot of my peers, you know, who still kind of dress with a looser look and, and even make fun of me a little bit by wearing, you know, tighter fitting clothes. But I think that in order for PMIS to evolve and even for us to evolve, let's not put down the youth. Let's uh, give them our influences, but also understand that things are going to change. Fashion changes, music changes times change uh, so let's not put them down and just sort of see if we can come through a medium let's not so much put their fashion down let's work on their mind let's work on uh, their finances let's mm -hmm. build a um, better understanding of community those are things we can change I think fashion we can't do as much oh, man. I love it I love it Real quick, and we about to get out of here, man. How can we find PMIS social media? Sure. Shoot them out. Let them know how we can get it. You get 
more members in here, bringing sure. them into here, getting involved in what we're doing. Sure. So make sure you go on to Facebook uh, under the groups Powerful Men in Style. You definitely want to join that group. Again, as Paco mentioned, it's only for the gentlemen. So ladies, uh, every day we get more women now that apply than men to be in the group. Yes. But again, it's just for the for the gentlemen. So make sure you go on Facebook. Uh, go to Powerful Men in Style in the group. Also, too, check us out on Instagram at Powerful Men in Style. We have a great Instagram page. It's very bright, colorful, and it features only group members in the photos. So it's very rare that you have that on Facebook. I mean, Instagram. You got a lot of people who take pictures from here or there. All photos are all group members, majority African American brothers. Um, we have a LinkedIn page uh, group, uh, Powerful Men in Style. If you want to get in contact with us, uh, contact us at uh, Powerful Men in Style at gmail.com. And then very, very soon, we're releasing our website, uh, www.powerfulmeninstyle.com. You can also check us out every Friday here in Atlanta at um, Alibi and Opium. Uh, our, our brother Ken, Ken Albright, Ken Albright yeah. hosts that an event, a Happy well. Hour, uh, where we invite everyone to come out and hang out with us. So that's very important too. Uh, we get a lot of love in the group, but when we throw events outside, we need more brothers to participate uh, because, trust me, the ladies are there. Yes. All right. Oh, so, nice. brothers, come on out every Friday uh, as of right now at Opium. What, uh, what is Opium? What street is that on? Spring Street? Uh, Spring Street. On Spring Street. Every Friday, come check it out. Southside Ken is in the building. We're always in the building. Mm -hmm. So we definitely want you to come out and mix and mingle with us. Man, Derek, man, I appreciate you, man, stopping in, taking your time out with me, my brother. Yes. Y'all check out PMIS. I can't believe I'm on the blue couch, but... Oh, my goodness. This is a condo? God. <laughs> hey, it's your boy, Paco Rocks, lifestyle enthusiast. Man, check us out next week, man, coming to you live, man. My boy, Derek It's your boy, Ford. Mr. Ford, that's right. Powerful men in style. Join the Facebook group. And we out. Peace. Peace. That's a real condo, I think. I think it is a condo. <laughs>